Bradley Benoit. Welcome back everyone. Well, it's all about the warmer temperatures and they are going to be remaining in the forecast through the rest of this week. Slightly better chance to see a cooling shower tomorrow and Friday afternoon, but then rain chances come back down heading into the weekend. We'll get into the details here in just a little bit, but first let's go ahead and take a look at the satellite and radar composite and high pressure continues to be in control across the eastern U.S. extending into our region as well, helping to keep things relatively quiet, but also keeping that east southeasterly flow at the surface. So all also keeping us on the warm side. In fact, high temperatures once again today topping out in the upper 80s. Now that high pressure is going to start to weaken a little bit tomorrow and that's going to open up uh, the doorway here for a weak upper level trough to move in from the west and that'll help to give us at least a slightly better chance to see some isolated storms tomorrow afternoon. Now turning gears here to the satellite imagery. This is a different satellite we have been using only because the go 16 that we usually use has kind of been in and out today. So I wanted to avoid distractions, but nonetheless here is now major hurricane epsilon here really getting that textbook structure packing winds of around 115 miles per hour those gusts to around 140 miles per hour and just to the south and east of the island of Bermuda but the good news here it will continue out to sea and stay east of the island before weakening heading into the weekend as a category one storm and eventually heading out into the northern Atlantic and elsewhere by the way in the tropics all is quiet with no pending threats to the Gulf of Mexico and to us here in Acadiana. So we'll be warming it up into the lower 80s by lunchtime tomorrow with clouds building. But again, into tomorrow afternoon with that uh, short wave trough moving in from the west, coupled with daytime heating. That'll help to give us at least a better chance to see some isolated storms tomorrow afternoon. Best time frame to see rain will be around the 4 to 7 p.m. time frame before that activity looks to quiet down a little bit later on tomorrow evening. And then we kind of do it all over again heading into Friday. Clouds building through the morning into the afternoon with about a 30 percent chance to see isolated storms through the course of Friday afternoon. So tomorrow and Friday, definitely the best chance to see some rain. Not everybody getting in on the activity, but rain chances coming back down heading into the weekend as high pressure starts to build back into the region. So parish by parish overnight lows here will be in the lower to mid 60s for our northern parishes, 63 in Oakdale, 64 in Ville Platte, mid 60s right along the interstate and then upper 60s along the coastal parishes waking up to morning, uh, tomorrow morning and always a little bit warmer for Cameron. It'll be in the lower 70s. It'll be another warm one tomorrow afternoon, though. We'll see those high temperatures back into the mid 80s, really almost like a summertime pattern with those highs uh, in the mid 80s and isolated storm chances through tomorrow afternoon. And then again, we do it all over again heading into Friday, low to mid 80s for your high with isolated storm chances tomorrow afternoon. So those low temperatures heading back into the mid and upper 60s overnight tonight, mainly clear skies this evening. And we may see some patchy fog develop a little bit later on tonight into tomorrow morning, kind of what we've been seeing the last uh, couple of mornings. And then another warm one tomorrow. We'll see highs in the mid 80s, partly cloudy skies to start and a few isolated storms developing by tomorrow afternoon. We'll hold rain chances at around 30%. That's the way it looks to stay heading into Friday. Rain chances back down heading into the weekend, but those high temperatures remaining in the lower and mid 80s. Mid 80s stay in the forecast as we head to the first parts of next week, but then the models really differ on a solution uh, for the end of next week leading up to Halloween. We have the GFS trying to bring in a strong cold front. European model keeps us in the mid 80s. So until we get better consensus with the models, guys, the forecast remains a bit uncertain. Come on, GFS. We're rooting <laughs> for the GFS. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Brad.